Oh, just look at that giant smile on Robin's face as he gets a big gorilla hug. And, you know, so much has been said about Robin's gigantic heart. And I can tell you firsthand, he did have a gigantic heart. How he loved and cared so deeply for everybody he knew. Well, that love extended to his unlikeliest friend of all, Coco, who amazingly is said to be in mourning just like all of us. Brick Anderson is in San Francisco for this remarkable story. Coco has been really somber and low-key. Um, she's needing a lot of um, support. The sign that she told me was she does a cry lip, meaning cry woman. Head bowed, lip quivering, Coco shares her grief with her lifelong trainer, Dr. Penny Patterson. I talked to Patterson at her home, not far from the Northern California Gorilla Foundation where she works. Tickle. 43-year-old Coco is extraordinary. She can communicate. And in 2001, her meeting with Robin was life-changing. Coco understands spoken English and uses over a thousand signs to share her feelings and thoughts about daily events. Life, love, even death. She's aware um, who it was. Uh, there's only one Robin in our, ever been in our life. <laughs> Only Robin she knows. Her memory is strong. Like most people who meet Robin, Coco was smitten from the moment they laid eyes on each other, and they played like a father and child. What happened when Robin visited is that Coco was actually in mourning for her lifetime companion, Michael, and it was Robin who brought her out of it. The first time she smiled since Michael passed was when Robin and her met. She took his wallet, looked at his face on a box for his video, and finally stole his sunglasses. She had my sunglasses on. She turned away and then she looked out the window and she looked great. They actually looked very nice. Of course, Robin found humor in everything and worked the encounter into his act. There is only one animal who can tell you if she is happy and wants to mate. That is Coco the silverback gorilla. When she saw me, the blue-eyed simian, she was intrigued. But she must have sensed something because she grabs me by the hand, starts to take me in the back, and it's like Doc Tauri meets Deliverance. And I'm expecting the crocodile hunter to walk out and go, Oh, Friday! How will you remember Robin? Oh, um, I was in awe of him as a person, um, and especially as he related to Coco. 